guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to to episode 6 of season 2 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I should have bought a bottle of water for myself because I'm thirsty, but it's okay. Well, at least these two are having fun. Come on, man. Like, without a fight? I mean, obviously, I would think you would still want to kick some of ass, but, you know, work is work. Do you really think she wants to? I mean, come on. I'm still thinking about that damn preview from last week because we, had, we all know that she's gonna go down. I mean... I don't know. Maybe she might betray them as well. What are you doing, weirdo? Of course, right? Yeah, but how? Oh, what she is. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. She 
she'll be a prisoner. She'll be a prisoner for the rest of her life. But if she goes with them, she'll be free. You're so fucking hard headed though. Oh my god. She's made her decision. Let her lie in it. I love my son so much. <laughs> Ooh, the music and the mm. But see, my thing is like, let's say she did go with Shira. She maybe wouldn't have been arrested. They probably would have looked at all her charges and dropped them. And she would have been okay. But it's a big old what if. Damn, they trying to have someone like, mm. they really trying to fuck up somebody's brain today. Oh, man, I don't, don't kill Panda. No. Oh, fuck. She about to kill him. Well, not really kill him. Probably blow up his dick. I can't go have kids. Sad day. That's fucked up, though. I'm not gonna say she's a bitch because I still like her. Hmm. Hmm. 
It's not your fault. No, don't be sorry. It's not your fault. Cody, don't look at me like that. And tomorrow is a different day. I just feel bad for him. It, it just seems like he's going to be like really beat up about this. I don't think it'll be like two or three, maybe two episodes. I don't want them to stretch it out, though, because then it's going to get a little annoying. Sorry, Cody. You. A little shy, probably. Oh, 
Well, you know what? It's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know why, but I felt like Valkyrie was going to accidentally grab it. Is this supposed to be the start of that, like, what adventure something arc that Crunchyroll posted today? Oh, baby, oh my god. <laughs> You're so cute, oh my god. I love him. I just led them to release a plushie of him. And by like 12. <laughs> Not talking like under fine.
Honestly, just seeing some potatoes, I'm hungry as hell. Maybe wait until like sunset. I'm so excited! This is gonna be so much fun for him, but I, I mean, I feel like there's gonna be danger, of course. Because, come on. Honestly, I'm really excited for this. I think this is going to be a really interesting arc. I mean, because before I watched this episode, I did see the poster. And so I had to think, like, I was like, mm, okay, there's kind of a reason why they're showing this poster out today. And I was kind of thinking either was going to be the start of for this episode or next week. But it's interesting. I have so many questions about it and what they're going to discover. And I mean, because Victor is there, you know he's going to be finding a way to report back to Joker and show and everyone else. And the biggest thing is I'm kind of wondering how, because I mean, come on. It, in a way, there are always two steps ahead of the group. I'm just saying. But I mean, I think the small group that's going on this journey, it's, it's going to be good. I mean, Shinra's technically worked with everyone except Juggernaut and, yeah, Juggernaut. I think Juggernaut's the only one. And Jacket is so cute. <laughs> I love him so much. He's just a cute little baby teddy bear. He just wanna cuddle him and everything. I mean he got like some big ass hands though, but he is so fucking cute. Like, oh my god, he's precious baby boy. But I just wonder what the hell they're gonna find out and discover. I mean, seeing the way the world is now because of that map, I oh my god, I wasn't expecting all that shit to go down. Oh that's fucked up. I mean, big oof and wow. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Inca real quick. Like I said, from last week going into this week, I'm not mad at her for doing what she did. Because going into the preview for this week's episode and seeing in the end that, yes, she does go with them. I was not expecting her to kill Panda. I, because like, I, oh my god, I would have to go back to last week's episode. Because did they show the fire in the background or did they like 
cover that up so that we would know. I mean, honestly, really, I would have to go back because if they did, and because I, I don't really remember, because I was assuming that if it was that scene again, it was Shinra like holding his hand out, like, don't go ish. But like, if you would have told me a couple of episodes ago that Inka was gonna kill Panda, I probably would have looked at you like you were nuts because. That was her, I, I really wouldn't say friend. I, I mean, that was her buddy. And I'm thinking like, no, this girl is not really going to kill anybody. But she's a completely different person now. She is setting out her own rules. She's being her own person instead of following um, like whatever. And so now it just makes you still think like, what if? Like, what if she did go with Shinra? But I, I feel like if she did, yeah, she possibly would have been locked up for the rest of her life. Or they would have dropped the charges on everything that she's done and she would have been able to be as free as she can be. But because she's gone <laughs> with <laughs> with them going to eventually talk to Sho, which honestly I cannot wait to see. And I hope that her and Sho have a conversation together because I want to see how those two like interesting minds interact with each other. Um the next time that we see her, she's going to be a completely different person. It's almost like when, um, in the first, in the first season with Lisa and we found out about Lisa's ish. And I was like, Oh my God, like, I don't know how to feel about her anymore. I was like, do I still like her as a character or should I kind of hate her because she's going on the side for the bad guys? But I still like her as a character. We do know the situation about her and I'm kind of hoping that we get to have another episode on, on Lisa because even though as of what I like to say, quote unquote, her story is kind of over, but I don't really want to be like, because so, somebody might say, no, 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 like she still has something else, which I still think she does. It's just as six episodes into the second season, we haven't seen her at all. And we know she's at the eighth. It's just, she could be hiding somewhere because she still feels traumatized and everything. So I do hope and pray that we do get another episode on her because her backstory was hella interesting in season one and I want to see what else they could possibly do for her into season two but really other than that I had no problem with that with this episode I thought it was really good but I honestly cannot wait to see what this start of this next arc is gonna be what they're gonna find what the hell is Victor gonna tell you know Joker and ish like that because there's so many questions I want to know about them but other than that guys that was my reaction to you towards episode seven not seven six of season two of fire force if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join my social squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday saturday oh my god i can't with myself today next friday for episode seven bye guys